It is round two with the beta readers. Hi everybody, SL Michaels here. Welcome back to my channel, Becoming Authenti. If this is your first time here, welcome. This is where on this channel, I document my journey to becoming a self-published author for my YA forbidden romance novel, The Sinisteed, coming out very soon. I hopefully this year. That's still tentative. Please don't hold me to that. But hopefully the way things are moving, I think it might just. All right. So this is the video that you guys have been waiting for for a while. Those of you who are watching this in real time. This is about my final round with the beta readers. Yes, the final round because I found a beta reader that I love and I cannot wait for you guys to see everything that she has done. I don't want to mess up her name. I found her, of course, on Fiverr. She was amazing. And like I said in, earlier, because my book is a forbidden romance, well, like I said, it's a, it's a teacher student romance. Now, listen, like I said before, it is, I know that's a very like, oh, cause she, my, my student, she is in high school, but there's a, only a five year age gap between her and the teacher. Okay. And so I, I, if you want to see that video, you can check it out right here, that video right there. I go off about it. You'll see. Watch that there. But um, so I did go ahead when I found her before I sent and before I placed the order for the gig on Fiverr, I sent you could you are allowed to do this. You can ask the seller questions or anything if you have any concerns or if you need things sooner or later pricing, any of that. So I went on there and I asked her if she would mind. I mean, of course they're going to read it because they, they want money. But I asked her, I said, look, this is what it is. This is the genre. Please, if this is not your cup of tea, please just, we'll go our separate ways. I'll find someone else because I, I, that was my problem before my first beta reader, they, they really didn't, they didn't like it. And that was a big in their notes. They, they just, they didn't like it. They, that was not their cup of tea. It was not their trope. It wasn't their thing. So I was like, I really need to find somebody who likes it to begin with, who will read the, who will take it into consideration more. Like I said, no preconceived ideas. You're looking at the plot. You're looking at the dialogue. You are helping me make this, you know, plot holes. You're helping me make this story readable and enjoyable for people who like this trope, but you help me not sound stupid because <laughs> editors and, and beta readers, you know, what makes sense in my head may not make sense to, you know, it, it may not make sense to other people because, and that would be totally like my deal, you know, totally on me. But, um, so I asked her, she wrote me back and said, yes, give it to me. And one thing I also liked was that she is from England and my book is set in England and she helped me a lot with um, the, I guess it's the, the slang terms and how they speak and, and even things that they have because it is set in a school setting and she helped me a lot with, I did not know that they didn't, they don't have homerooms. They don't call them that. It's form rooms or they, like I have a saying in my book called like up to bat. She said that wouldn't work. And I kind of had a hard time with that because, you know, they have cricket bats, but she just said that just wouldn't work. So, okay. But I'm glad she did. And she helped me like with film. Well, not film. We say movie. Like we're going to go to a movie or, you know, I'm going to watch a movie. Mm -mm. They say film. I want some candy. They say sweets. So there's a lot, you know, and of course we all know the sayings of we, they, of cookie. We say cookies, they say biscuits and chips, potato chips, they say crisps. So it was very, I was so very fortunate and glad to have her on my team to help me with that. 
But also, not only is she a beta reader, but her service also is she is a editor. And I have decided to use her to be my editor. And because I used, and I'm going to, and not, this is not sponsored in any way, but I use Pro Writing Aid. I highly suggest all the writers out there, please use Pro Writing Aid. You can, it does, you can get, I have the yearly subscription. I couldn't afford the lifetime, maybe later down the road, but I have the yearly subscription and it has really helped out a lot because I have that uh, specific grammar spell checking um, software program. Oh my gosh, guys, she only charged me a hundred, like it was $105 for to read my book, which is 72,000 and something words. <laughs> yeah. And that was awesome because Anywhere else you go, guys, it's thousands. It is thousands. And I'm like, I can't afford that. I didn't even want to, guys, I didn't even want to pay 400 for it. So when she told me that, because she says, your book doesn't have that many eras and I don't have to work, and they don't have to work really as hard. So it's really, really, I'm going to pull that down just a little bit. There we go. So yes, I usually have it up because I like to put up, I just, Guys, I'm having issues here. Sorry. I like to have it up because I like for you guys to see my uh, self-publishing with Dale up there. Yes, it's a shameless plug. If you guys know anything about me, I am I plug Dale really bad. But sorry, you just if you, if you knew Dale, he's amazing and he will help you out tremendously. He's helped me out a lot with the whole self-publishing and like it was on his writing sprints. I found Pro Writing Aid and he offered 20% off at dalelinks.com. Wow. I'll post a link down below for you guys because I'm not an affiliate of pro of uh, pro writing, pro writing aid. So you guys, I'll post it there for you guys. It was, it saved me a ton of money. The yearly subscription was like in like $70, like $79. I only paid 62 for it. And I'm like, that was awesome. Just so thank you so much. That's my shout out. Thank you so much, Dale. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, that saved me a ton of money and not only with the pro writing aid, but because of that, you know, my, my editor, she's only charging me $105 to get my book, my whole book edited. So I am real excited about it, but um, I will take you guys to my computer so you can actually, we can go into detail about what she wrote, everything, uh, step-by-step -step detail. And I actually... I just cannot wait. I also have, I I know everyone, you've waited for this video for so long, but, and I know before I have posted another video about my book, what it's about. So if you haven't seen that, please, I highly recommend, I highly recommend so you know the plot of the book or the what it's about, not the whole plot, but what the book is about, the blurb. Please check out this video right here, right there. there. Go check that out. Go check it out. And then you guys can, or yeah, probably have to go this way, but we'll see how YouTube will let me do it. Either way, whichever way it goes. So guys, check that one. So please check out that video so you'll know what we're looking at when we go step-by-step -step into detail about the book. Okay, guys, here we go. Okay, everybody, here we are at my desk to, I will show you the re beta reader report. And this right here is actually Fiverr. This is where I got my beta reader. And there she is down there. Her name is Lord Cole De DeMort or DeMort. And she uh, is the one who read my, beta, my manuscript, beta read it, and she was awesome and she started off at $15 but always remember beta readers they go by the word count that you have of your book so always be on the lookout for that and as you can see I have been looking at other things coming up in the very near future
but here's what we're going to do. We're going to go here and I'm going to open it up. <gasps> Looky here, sneak peek what's happening guys in progress. <gasps> I've got it being edited. I've got a book cover coming, two book covers coming out very, very soon. Okay, so that was what her job, her gig, and she completed it. So I'm going to get this up right here, and I'm going to, here it is, and we're going to go here to the attachments. We had a conversation, me and her, about everything, about the, the book, the type of book it was. She helped me a lot with the, with the uh, English uh, slang. Now look, this is how she did it, guys, and this is just amazing how she did it. She started off with the prologue, and she wrote a very detailed description. She said, you know, this is a very intriguing start. I think the amount of information revealed here is just enough. Definitely a good opening. And she went on about, you know, for chapter one and two, and now what I loved about this was, like I said, this I said this story in England. Now, there were things there that I did not know. I knew things would be different, but I didn't know really how different. And she lives in London as well. Or she lives in England. She travels to London. But she did help me with a lot of what they say over there that is different. Or, you know, what we here in America think they say. And they really, you know... They do, but not in the context that we think. So here, like in chapter two, I had used the word blokes. Well, she said lads. Use that one better because it was just a bit awkward. And then I did not know they did not have PTAs. Like here in schools, we have, you know, parent teachers associations. They do not have that in England. What they are called are parent governors. Like in chapter three. You don't have cell phones, they're mobile or mobile phones or mobile phones. Homerooms, they don't have that. It's a form class. But, and then she would say, you know, but she would always let me know if it was, you know, she let me know if it was good pacing, good introduction to other characters, to the supporting characters, and all of that. And it was so, just, I really, really loved her. She was so informative on everything. Finals were exams. She felt like ace, you know, like you, I had said, you're going to ace this exam. It doesn't fit there. Scenes, she, what she thought was cute or what she liked. Again, a lot of this that you're going to see, that you see, are mainly was just because of just simple terms that I, I did not know what, you know, they don't have midterms in England. They say progress checks or progress checks or assessments. So there you go. And she'd always say, you know, she loved the drama. The chapter was sweet. And um, I really loved it. How she was so in-depth and she helped me. This was a seven-page report. And she went over every single chapter. She let me know when one chapter was too long. Right here. Maybe think of breaking it up. She loves the realization of feelings. It feels natural, not rushed. So I really enjoyed it having her on you know on my team to help me with this and then I'm going to go down here because I really don't want to give everything away but then she gave a little thing at the end through her little her report and she says thank you so much for letting me read this it is a sweet romantic story that I enjoyed immensely I've tried to give you all the English related issues when I found them I think largely they're around our school system private schools do work slightly differently but I think it would be beneficial to change some of the language you use as listed above and I did the plot is generally really nice. It flows well and the pace is good. I think Alina's initial reluctance to tell him Portia needs developing. A school wouldn't be likely to punish Alina for this, so maybe something needs to happen to make her believe that they would, or Portia needs to have something else to hold over her. Uh, then it was, I, you know, we did all this, and um, so yeah, Alina's gift is really interesting and I like to see more of it in the story. Maybe how it makes her feel like a freak, but she comes to accept it and love it. 
and then she goes, I, and then right here, I feel like the manuscript would benefit from line editing once you made final changes, as there are issues with punctuation and tenses. However, the overall story is clear and enjoyable, and I think this is the beginning of a really ex excellent story. Thanks again, and please let me know if you need anything else. So I really, really liked her. I enjoyed her tremendously and I will definitely be using her again. It's very and it's like, you know, I you know, Dale said when um in one of his sprints, if you watched if you watch that sprint when I make I do make an announcement about it and I a shout out to Pro Writing Aid and to Fiverr as well for these wonderful beta readers that or one this one beta reader that I did find. He said hold on to her because you know she's also an editor and she's going to do this, and it's not a lot of money, so hold on to her. So this is, guys, this is the one I found. Now here, like I said, this is because, I'm going to get out of this and go back to the home page. This is because she right here, she does romance. So you have to really look at who you're going to use. I used the premium, which was $25, but I had to put in my word count. My word count was higher than that. At the time, I think it was maybe about like 64400 just doing that. It was just kind of a thing. So it ended up being 30 Yeah, it was still $35. But, and over here she has, um, she has uh, examples. I said she could use mine. I don't know if they're going to, I don't know if they did it or not. But I really liked how she did them how, and how she does them all, like page one onwards. I just, I really like it. I, yeah, I was able to get a 20 minute online discussion with her because I did a premium, but it was, it was okay. I really liked what she did and I really didn't have time. The basic, I mean, but you could do a basic one if you want for 15. It just all depends on what you're looking for. If you wanted that 20 minute online discussion, seven days, but all that's still kind of the same. And you get one revision. Like I could have rewritten it and she could have seen it again. And I think she might be doing that right now because she does owe me that with the editing. But for basic, I mean, if you don't want a revision and you're just kind of trying to save some money, 15. And like I said, she's for romance. And I love, I, I love Fiverr. Fiverr is just amazing. But you can find other people here. It all depends on the who works for you. She has a very good high rating. I, like I said, I was so glad that I found her. She does sci-fi or fantasy as well, if that's what you are looking for. I liked, here, I'll go to the more services so we can see. So she does beta reading, the knob, you know, editing. For beta reading, sci-fi or fantasy. And so far that's all she has for this right here. But yeah, the novel editing, her normal was 80. And she charged me a hundred, because like I said, I had a higher, I did have a higher word count than that. And because she did see it, and I did, I didn't have a lot of um, errors. And she sent me a personal note, and that's what she told me she would do it for a hundred. And that was like amazing, and I jumped on it like white on rice, guys, because for that it was just amazing. I could have had it. I mean, I could have, you can always have things rushed, but I do agree with Dale in the sense of never have anything rushed. Don't, because if they, if they're people too, and if they feel rushed, then I don't know, but I know when I'm under the gun, I, I freak out, I can't do it if I'm timed, and I make more mistakes than anything. So when they feel like they have their adequate time that they know that they can do this, then, then it's good. I know, if, you know, they have five star, only three, three rate, you know, three comments, but guys, this is coming for me. She's amazing. I, I love her to death. I, I think I found my number one beta reader and my number one editor. Okay, so yes, I will, this is her. I have found my one and only, and I hope this helps you guys and you guys can see a little bit of Fiverr, how you can go about finding people and finding your one, your only, your person, a beta reader, and maybe editor too. 
So thank you guys so much. I hope that helps you guys out with learning about beta readers and I, I love it. I will definitely be using her again. I, for everything, she was so amazing. She was so, so sweet she, and she was there when her time, you know, cause she lived in England. So we did have a time difference, but she was always there to answer questions. And like I said, I asked her ahead of time. She didn't have to put that in there about English, you know, the sayings and stuff. She didn't have to do that, but I asked, I did request it. And so she did. So I'm very, very happy and thankful for that. And so, yes, so that is it for this video. And I want you guys so much. I have an announcement. I am like, I want to announce this so bad, but I don't know. I don't know. Cause yeah, we're looking maybe just a little down the road, but it's happening today that I'm recording this. It's January 31st, 2021, and I'm going to give you guys a hint. All right. Audiobook. Yes. Audiobook and Nikolai. Ah. All right, guys. So if you guys, if you want to know more and you don't want to miss anything, please, please, please Subscribe to my channel if you have not. Ring the bell, okay? Ring the bell so you don't miss a thing. I don't want you guys to miss this. This is just, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. All right, okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. And you guys, remember, you are an author and your story matters. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.